Marikina River's water level continues to rise Thursday morning as Typhoon Ulysses brings more rains over Metro Manila and other parts of Luzon. As of 10.33 a.m., the river's water level is 22 meters, now higher than the peak 21.5 meters set during Typhoon Ondoy's onslaught in 2009. The river's water level started to exceed the level recorded during Ondoy at 8.30 a.m. today, when the Marikina Public Information Office announced that the recorded water level peaked to 21.7 meters. Local authorities raised the third alarm at 3.18 a.m. when the river's water level reached 18 meters. Meantime, the typhoon uprooted trees, prompting local governments to conduct clearing operations to rid roads of fallen trees. Ulysses also flooded many roads in the metro, including those leading to Marikina. Local authorities already blocked the Santolan extension at the part of Barangay Libis, Quezon City, as the road is already flooded. Residents from Barangay Industrial Valley Complex or IVC in Marikina City fled to the said road to seek higher ground as flood all almost reached the second floor of their houses. Moreover, some of those who owned cars had to move them away from the area when flooding started as early as around 2 a.m., according to a resident. Alas dos dito na kami. Ah, alas dos pa lang. Oh, tapos, nung ano, bumalik kami, dahil yung mga kasama namin, tinawag namin para mailikas lahat yung sasakyan doon sa ilalim ng tulay. Pagbalik namin, malalim na. Kaya hindi na kami, ano, natrap na kami rito. In the meantime, a biker on his way to Barangay Tumana, Marikina, to rescue his cousin badly affected by flood due to the typhoon, was stranded at Santolan Extension. Ronnie Hernandez, who traveled on his bike from Dreamland Taguig for about one and a half hour, said he only knows one way going to Tumana and therefore will just wait for the flood to decrease. He said his cousin is among those whose families were prompted to stay atop their roofs as flood reached the top floor of their houses. So, assessment niya is hanggang bubong lang. Eh ngayon, nakalipat na sila ng pangatlong bahay. Ilang bubong na yung, yung, yung nalipatan nila. According to Hernandez's cousin, four other families or less than 20 individuals are also staying on roofs as their houses were submerged in flood. Hernandez planned to help his cousin by bringing ropes and large empty bottles to build improvised floaters as there was an apparent lack of rescue operations in Tumana, according to his cousin. Kaya may dala akong tali sa galon kasi kanilang umaga pa sabi ko gumawa ka na ng, gumawa ka na ng mga galon. Eh, walang mga galon daw kasi hindi na siya makababa sa ano niya. Yung mataas na yung... So parang improvised floater po Improvised ito. sana ba? At least uh -huh. kung tataas man lang, at least makaka-float silang dalawa. Uh -huh. Marikina Mayor Marcy Teodoro on Thursday morning said the city's disaster response team has deployed 50 rescue boats but admitted that these are still not enough. Teodoro said they have already evacuated 5,000 families but around 40,000 households are either totally or partially submerged in water. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa forecasts Ulysses to exit the Philippine Area of Responsibility on Friday morning. For One Media Network, this is Julian Heronimo.